Is this awkward? <laughs> yeah. You watch me pong. <laughs> I've officially been at university in San Francisco at Minerva for a full week now. Mad. So guys, I have two roommates, which is like the most exciting thing ever. Are you ready to meet one of them? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it is Fong. Fong, tell us about yourself. Hi guys, my name is Fong. I'm from Vietnam. And um, Jade's the coolest person ever. Oh my god, Fong. <laughs> I feel like we're all very different, but it's just chill mm -hmm. in the room. It's good. Okay, so welcome to our crib. I am the messy person here who has left everything on the desk. Adar's pretty clean. Fong, what would you, how, would you, how would you rate your cleanliness? Between them. No, I think, I think you're pretty clean. We don't have all the cupboard space in the world, so we've had to be quite ruthless in um, storing stuff. We have an ensuite, which is really nice. Here it is. Bong is stalking me. No, I'll face it to my friend. Here's Ivana, looking cute. Oh. Forrest, whoa. And Leon, why is today special? It's my birthday! Am I on Hum Jade and Jade? I'm the map. I think you might be. Map. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, here's Padme. Hi. <laughs> I'm jealous of you guys. Look at this view. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Okay guys, so bit of a weird Minerva tradition, but um, today is our first official 1001. So every Sunday we have this thing called a 1001. All the people who are from a certain country will get together and like cook a big meal and like share their culture uh, with everyone and just cook for everyone and we'll dance and it's gonna be fun. And like randomly, even though our cohort's quite small, <laughs> <laughs> there are there are so many Ukrainians. We've got 17 Ukrainians. So um naturally Ukraine was gonna be the first 1001. So they actually stayed up until like 4 a.m. cooking, which is um kind of mad. So they're just like hectically in the kitchen now and we're gonna go down, they're gonna do some talks about Ukraine, about their culture, and then we're gonna eat. Yay! Woo! Yay! Into the Minerva fridge. <laughs> Our fridge is utter chaos. You literally have to write your name on stuff about a hundred times while stuff gets stolen. I have a box here, which is like my food. So people have been known to be thieves and steal stuff from your boxes. Yes. We've got a lot of food going on. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Marina's wearing her traditional Ukrainian top. It's and called Veshevan. Yeah. Like Artem, I experienced like truly like pro-influenced more Russian culture. So uh, it was different for 2017. <laughs> humans are cleaning up after my mess. I'm so tragic and clumsy. I shattered loads of ceramics everywhere. Ukrainian 1001 was so much fun. We had like stations around the reservoir. So we learned traditional dance, we learned some Ukrainian language. That is my name written in Ukrainian. It looks nothing like Jade. We shared good Ukrainian food. Dana, what do we have to do now? Clean after Ukrainian, after the Ukrainian. They cook in once a week, each floor has to clean the kitchen, a quick blitz. So I'm gonna give you a quick kitchen tour and I can tell you it's probably never gonna look this clean again. Also the Ukrainian 1001 was so good. It's so fun having such an international cohort. Like, I'm the only British gal. If I was learning something new about countries that I clearly knew nothing about. Like Kosovo, I didn't know anything about Kosovo. Kazakhstan, I knew nothing. Azerbaijan, I knew nothing. I'm learning. Here we have communal area, communal pots and pans. 
communal stuff. Cute stove area. We have ovens, which I was not expecting from uni. Hey! Oh. Giant freezers. Giant freezer. Refrigerator. There's Fong! Oh, hey! Here is our cleaning area. Welcome to the kitchen. And then we have common areas to sit in there and in there. I like it! Gabriel's from Brazil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gabriel's vegan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very serious. You gotta take me very serious. Oh, this here. Cinderella. Cinderella. Cinderella is from Ukraine. <laughs> you Vietnamese girl. Tunu. She is from. Oh, she's from China. Yeah, guys, I'm Chinese. Um, and then. This is Tammy. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Bruna. So happy you're here, Tammy. Oh. Hi, Tammy. Tell us about your background. I thought it was Cinderella. No, that's a very bad name. No one likes Cinderella. Beautiful. Okay. I'm so sorry for you. It must be hard to have a white person as your roommate. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I love making jokes about white people, sorry. No, I mean, why would you be sorry about that? It's so valid. Literally every person from like India, Pakistan, like many African countries are like, ah, oh, you're the one who colonized. I was like, that's the hardest thing, so many people True, I actually have to talk to Tiago, he colonized me. I didn't think about that until now. I <laughs> didn't know that Vietnam stayed in my house. Oh! oh really? <laughs> Just got an upgrade. Yes. <laughs> it looks so nice. I love it. Yeah, like <laughs> This is what happens when you have someone with the fashion sense in your room. That's not true. I'm normally so bad at things like this. Guys, about it. You know, I am the one in charge of all distribution. I can take it up. Get ready, one. Just give it. Come be taken away. So Adar has power over the Pew. lights up there. Power Rangers. Let's go. And I have the power. No. Basically, I have done my one big order of the school year. I've got the lights and the command strips. Um, I've got I've got a nutri bullet. What? Like an essential. This is for the room. Everyone, everyone can use it. The floor can use it. And a kettle. I did my research on a balance between good cost and good quality kettle because being British, I feel like I'm absolutely losing my heritage if I don't drink a lot of tea. <laughs> the room now has a kettle. My bank account hates me. <laughs> <laughs> but it is worth it. And I'm gonna get some more photos printed. I have my um, Canon Zoe mini thing, so I'm gonna print some more photos for my phone. Even more personalized and cute because we're living here for a year, so it's gotta look somewhat now I'm having a, I want to say somewhat early night, but it's actually half past midnight, so. Isn't it crazy how my definition of an early night 